All right, so I made a post on Facebook yesterday uh, with a, just uh, some tips about my bait tank, and I got a bunch of responses saying they wanted to see a little more detail. So I just thought I'd do a video here quick and show you what I'm running with my bait tank. It's a super simple setup, uh, but it's been working great. So I'll show you here. It's a, it's a sponge filter setup, and honestly, I didn't even know that these sponge filters existed until I started doing some research, and uh, I actually went and bought some bait from someone, and they had a sponge filter running, and I had never even seen it before, so um, it runs right off the air pump. So if you're running an air pump, there's no reason why you shouldn't be just adding it to your system because it's, you know, like 10 bucks. So um, I'll just show you quick and uh, show you how I do it. All right, so I'm running this 55-gallon uh, drum here, this plastic drum. I just found that free on uh, Marketplace or Craigslist or something like that. Yeah, I just uh, cut half of this out and just cut a piece of plywood to match, kind of a half moon shape and use that as a cover. And honestly, I don't even know if you really need a cover, but it, it kind of keeps the debris out. And if you have suckers or chubs, they'll jump out if you don't have a cover. So um, yeah, there's the cover. I'm running this, uh, I can't even remember the name of this pump. I'll put a link down in the description to what this pump is, the name of it. It's just made for aquariums. And I actually ran, it's a dual outlet, so I ran it to a T to a single outlet, and I'll show you why I did that. So here's the, uh, this is the sponge filter. As you can see, it's got this lift tube. So what it does, show you here. comes apart and that comes apart like that this is like a weighted base to hold it down and then this is the actual sponge and you can see it can used to be cleaned I cleaned that a couple days ago and this here is where you run your air filter or your air stone sorry so you run it this is called the lift tube here so you run it through here so when you get this it's going to be uh, closed with spokes on the top on both of these and then you can run your airline right to here um, and you can do that that's fine but what I did is I cut out the spokes and then ran my line through one of the spokes that way I could run an air stone right in here and just uh, provide a little more dissolved oxygen a little smaller bubbles so I ran all that through there and then these snapped together and then this goes into here like so and then the lift tube and then what happens is as it's making bubbles they're going up the lift tube and just you know pure physics if the air goes up something has to come through so it's drawing it's drawing air and water through this sponge as those bubbles come up it's drawing it's drawing all the water through the sponge and it's filtering as it does that so um, obviously the the tighter the sponge is the pores the more it's going to catch and with bullheads you know you're going to catch a lot of debris so you'll have to clean it pretty often but like i said if you're running an air pump already these are 10 bucks and uh, from what i found it's keeping my water really clean so i just put some new bait in here this morning so i usually just kind of run this so it's kind of just just above the bottom maybe sitting on the bottom and you can make that you can make this lift tube you can put longer lift tubes the longer you make that the more air it's going to draw through this is just the one it came with so i haven't modified it at all or anything and there you go i have some uh nice bullheads in here Nice, lively, eight, nine inches. Some good catfish bait. I had some suckers in there, but you can see they're, uh, they didn't fare too well, so they ended up being bullhead food. I do have this uh, live bait mate, which uh, works pretty good. If I get suckers or chubs, I just kind of put them in here and kind of segregate them. And then this kind of fits in here sort of 
and then the chubs and suckers can sit in there. I don't like to put a lot in there because it's not much space, but if I have, you know, half a dozen or a dozen, I just keep them in there and keep them segregated so the bullheads don't kill them and harass them. So yeah, that's the, uh, that's the bait tank. I did plumb in a, a drain here, down here. And when I want to do a water switch, I can just open that up and it drains really fast. Within minutes I can get it. I usually do about a one third, one third down and then I just put new water in. Do that about every two or three days. And then for rinsing this out, I just take a hose and rinse it out good. Squeeze it as you're doing it. Now this may uh, this may clear out all the healthy bacteria you're looking for. So I don't keep bait in my tank very long, so I'm not too concerned about it. I just want the I just want the filter to bring the the big debris out. like that we're good to go one of the things people are concerned about is the chlorine content in their uh, water I have this hose that has an aeration setting so that coupled with the water hitting the the water hitting the water and agitating it a lot of that chlorine is going to off gas just by doing that so when I'm refilling it I keep this above the water so that's off gassing um, I don't think the chlorine content is a lot in my water to begin with so I'm not too worried about it but that's another reason I just do one-third water changes um, just keeping as much chlorine out of there as I can So yeah, aeration here, aeration here. A lot of that, those chemicals are off-gassing already. So there it is, very simple. And uh, bait keeps a long time. I do have it in a shaded area and you, that's kind of a must if you're uh, keeping it outside, definitely keep it in a shaded area. I've thought about maybe insulating this somehow, but that seems like a lot of work. So I'm just gonna keep it like this for now. Yeah, there's my bait tank. Uh, if you want to know about the pump or the uh, sponge filter, I'll put a link down in the description. You can check it out. Like I said, 10 bucks for that air filter. I think the pump was, uh, I don't know, 20, 25 bucks maybe. So, you know, this will be good for uh, another few years. Thanks for watching.